Hi, it's Janelle with Parsnips and Parsimony, and today I want to show you how I start my own vegetable plant seeds inside. If you want to be successful with starting your own seeds inside, there's a couple things you need to have. The first thing is quality potting or seed starting mix. Now I prefer the Miracle Crow brand because it's tried, it's true, and I have had the best success with that. The second thing you need are some type of planters to hold these seeds. When I first started doing this, I used to get the six packs of plastic containers to start my seeds in, but it was really wasteful, and I also found out that my plants just got too leggy too fast in those containers. So I found out that a lot of gardeners use these. These trays have smaller holes to hold the dirt, but they're perfect for starting your seeds. Those handy little containers revolutionized how I started my own seeds inside. You can probably pick these up at your local greenhouse, ask them if you can buy some from them, and they'll probably be more than happy to say yes. The third thing you're going to need are seeds. Now seeds from last year may be okay, but anything older than that more than likely won't sprout, or if they do sprout, you won't have a really good germination rate. And there's nothing more depressing to a gardener when you plant your seeds and nothing comes up. Make sure you're using fresh seeds, preferably meant for this gar gardening season, but if you need to use last year's, they're probably still okay. The fourth thing that I think is essential to starting your seeds inside is plastic wrap. All you need to do is take a piece, lay it over the top of your seed trays before the seedlings emerge, so this is right after you plant them, and place these in a bright location. They do not need to be in direct sun, but that's going to help those seeds stay nice and moist consistently so they'll sprout quicker. Now if you buy one of those fancy gardening kits, they come with the domes that go over your seed starting trays, you can just use that. The last thing that you need are some type of labels so you know what you planted. How many times I've planted something and then I've totally forgotten what it was that I planted there and then I play the guessing game. Was that a banana pepper or was that a jalapeno or maybe that was a habanero? Oh, don't want to go there. So one of the ways that I save money with my gardening is I make my own gardening tags. I'll put a link to the video up here where you can go watch how I make my gardening tags. But for now, I'll just show you what I use and there are these little guys and these are made out of a milk jug totally food safe you can just recycle them when you're done and they hold up all I do is write with black permanent marker what they are a sharpie and put this right in my my little hole or row identifying what the plants are. Your local nursery probably has wood sticks that you can also buy if you don't want to be bothered with making your own, but this is a great thrifty way to stretch your budget when growing your own seeds. Now you'll notice here that I have plants of all different sizes. These are all pepper plants and they were all planted at the same time, but check out the different sizes. Now this tray over here were my old, old seeds, anywhere from 2011 to 2015. As you can see, not many sprouted. Over at this tray, these were all 2014 up to 2015. I didn't put any fresh seeds in because I'm on a mission to purge all of my old seeds and clean out my seed storage bin. Now, over here you can see how these are smaller. And then if we go over here, we see how much bigger these guys are. These were all planted at the same time, but for some reason or another, these guys and these guys sprouted faster than these guys. Once the seed sprouts, you want to leave them in those little plugs until they develop their first set of true leaves. Let me show you what true leaves look like. This is a seed that has just sprouted. Now notice there's no other leaves in there. But if you go over here and you look at this fella here, we have those original set of leaves and then we have this first set of true leaves. That's the time when we're going to transplant these into individual cones like over here. And these guys are getting big enough that we need to put them into their own little plug. These plants I transplanted about four days ago and these were about this size. But once I transplanted them, look how much bigger they grew and how much faster they grew. And these are going to be really healthy, stocky plants. Again, 
all of these trays were planted at the same time, but you can see what a difference it makes to plant these into your own plugs. You'll notice here that I have these setting in the bay window of my house so there's lots of bright direct sun and that is essential in keeping these plants from getting really leggy and long and ugly looking and those are not healthy plants. We want them to stay nice and short and stocky. In another week or two I will be taking those plants, those ones that I transplanted, I'm going to be putting them in my outdoor hoop house once it warms up enough that I know that the cold won't kill these little seedlings off. But once they go into the hoop house it really seems to help keep them from getting that long leggy they get a lot of sun and they really do very very well outside at this point so those are my three ways of making sure that my plants grow well I start the seeds inside covering them with saran wrap making sure that they stay nice and moist then when they get their first set of true leaves I transplant them into their own little plugs making sure I'm using quality seed starting mix and then finally I move them out into my hoop house where they can get toughened up a little bit before they get put into the garden and ready to grow. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel because I vlog all about my garden and how we make things grow here in upstate New York. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you for our next video. Bye!